The 100th meridian line is typically the boundary that separates dry air in the west from humid air in the east. But a report by Yale University Magazine shows the boundary has shifted 140 miles east since 1980, putting it close to the South Dakota-Minnesota border. John Lortzen shows us what it means for our state. It's really surprising that it's January, honestly, just looking at how things are, because normally you're like, your fingers are freezing off. This winter, the bold north has been more like the mild to moderate north. I love the cold winter, actually. I, I'd prefer it to be frigid. Minnesotans are either sulking or celebrating the lack of snow and cold. And while they do, another weather trend has caught the attention of climatologists. There's evidence that parts of the Dakotas have gotten, uh, they've gotten to a state where they, they lose a little bit more water than they used to. Kenny Blumenfeld is a climatologist with the DNR. He's aware of the research that shows drier conditions shifting about 140 miles over the past 40 years. But while the line now falls close to the Minnesota border, Blumenfeld says the state hasn't been impacted. You'd have to look in the far northwestern part of the state before you would see uh, any evidence of, of drying in, the, in just the short term in the most recent few years. In fact, Blumenfeld says Minnesota trends show much wetter conditions over the past few decades. Yeah, it does seem, I wouldn't say likely, but it seems possible that we'll have more of those arid conditions in Minnesota in the future. But uh, in terms of right now, it's, it's not obvious that that's happening, in fact. I would say it's the opposite. Blumenfeld says northwestern Minnesota has been a little drier, but has still seen plenty of wet years in the past decade. On the other hand, the southwestern part of the state has seen more rain the past few years, essentially the opposite of a drought. So we're kind of not going in that dry direction yeah. quite yet, maybe years down the road. But right now we're, we're seeing more precipitation than in recent memory. So. All right. Yeah. Thank you, John. You bet.